Hey, what's up guys? I know I, you know, I don't really ever post videos, at least that much anymore. Um, but here's a quick one for you. So this is my latest project. I have uh, right here a Dell Inspiron 518 desktop system um, that I've slightly upgraded and uh, hacked to run Mac OS X El Capitan, the latest version, 10.11.5, in a dual boot with Windows 10. So uh, let's let's start it up. So standard BIOS splash screen. It boots via Clover Legacy Bootloader. So I I wasn't able to get um, UEFI boot because this BIOS is and motherboard are too old to support it. But uh, as you can see, here we have Clover, and it gives me the option to boot into Mac or Windows, but by default it boots into El Capitan. So, um, so this computer right here, excuse me while I refer to my paper, this computer right here is sporting a Intel Core 2 Duo, at 2.66 gigahertz with 3 megabytes of L2 cache, 4 gigabytes of 800 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM, and EVGA 2 Force 210 with 1 gigabyte of VRAM. Um, it also has an onboard Intel G33 Express chipset uh, integrated video card, but I had to upgrade to the GeForce in order for uh, OS 10 to support. Um, Quartz Extreme and uh, Core Imaging. It also has uh, a Belkin N300 micro Wi-Fi adapter, ALC888 Legacy Audio, and it has it's sporting two hard drives: one Samsung 740 gig, or sorry, 700, 700 gigabyte, sorry, a, and a Mac Store 160 gig. Both of them are unfortunately hard disk drives spinning at 72 and uh yeah um that's about it. and it uh, also has uh ethernet both wi-fi and ethernet uh have the uh, have real tech chipsets um unfortunately the wi-fi card that i'm using is a usb adapter and uh, and os 10 doesn't recognize it as an airport so i have to use this third party app and kext but that's fine um Sleep and restart shutdown work fine for the most part. Sometimes it hiccups a little waking up from sleep on the Mac OS side. Um, I had to use some sleep uh, scripts using this app called uh, Sleep um, Sleep Watcher to prevent the Wi-Fi card from uh, stopping the computer from sleeping because that was giving me some problems. So I had to use some scripts to uh, prevent those problems from happening. Happening, sorry. Uh, let me just disable, sorry, it, that's why uh, I had to disable my app uh, to make, keep the screen from looking yellow. So let's look at the About This Mac. So, OS X El Capitan, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 10.11.5, and it's recognized as a Mac Pro early 2008. And it says EVGA GeForce 10, uh, 210. System report. Let's look at that just real quick. Um, again, audio, graphics, uh, USB, SATA. It has a standard DVD uh, writer drive. Yeah, and of course, Ethernet. Yeah. So, yeah, basically all the standard stuff. The USB ports work fine. Um, I just have a standard Dell keyboard and a Logitech mouse for this. And actually, even the uh, media buttons on this keyboard work. So, you know, I can change the volume. Yeah. As you can hear, the sound is, the volume is changing. Um, two USB powered speakers that came standard with, uh, with the computer. And, um, and let's just to show you that, uh, you know, it works as a standard Mac. Let's load up the internet. 
Load up YouTube. And let's just play a video here. Oh, good fellas. That's a good one. All right. So, yeah. No problem doing anything that a Mac would do, basically. Yep. And uh, the Mac, oh, as I said, is the latest OS. Uh, wi Fi works, Ethernet works. And also, this monitor, I forgot to mention, it's a. Uh, Dell SP2208WFP and this monitor is great because it has USB ports on the side and on the back sorry I can't really show it with this angle but yeah it has two on the side and two on in the the bottom on the back side where the display ports are and it also has a webcam with built-in mic so uh, I can basically use the uh, microphone from my uh, monitor as a microphone for this computer, which is pretty great. And also, uh, it does have, uh, as I said, ALC 888 audio. That's what this uh, output is. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, Mac OS runs fine. I can, you know load up office if you want again this is because it's a hard disk drive apps are a little bit slow to load but I can't complain considering how old this computer is it's a, a Dell Inspiron 518 so it's gotta be I'm not even exactly sure but I've, I'm sure it's at least all, maybe almost 10 years old uh, by now so yeah so yeah, so there's, you know, Microsoft Office. And just to show you the Windows side, let's just restart here. And this will demonstrate that the restart works fine. Okay. Just got to wait. And, uh... Again, to get these this Mac OS system in its final state, it took a lot of tinkering around. Um, I had to use, I had to edit my config.plis file for Clover. I had to install various kecks for video, audio, um, and I had to install a custom DSDT file. Uh, the yeah, the one I'm using in this computer is for a Dell Inspiron 530 actually and it actually worked without modification out of the box and uh, once it's running uh, OS 10 actually is giving me less problems than Windows right now because some of the hardware in this computer is too old to be supported by Windows 10 anymore so it's giving me some compatibility issues right now I'm unable to update to the latest version of Windows 10 currently um, it, ha it constantly reverts back and I'm not sure what Windows 10 is doing right now. See, look, Windows 10 just, I'm, I'm pretty sure Windows 10 just froze on me. Let's, let's try this again. Sometimes this happens. So, only with Windows, though. Let's try to boot into Windows one more time. I don't really even boot into, uh, use Windows that much, so. I mean, it, I just have it there just, just to have it in case I need it and you know if it doesn't boot the first time it'll generally boot <laughs> the next time so let's try that one more time I may even just put if these compatibility issues continue, I may just end up putting Windows 7 on this. Uh, because, I, I mean, I, I honestly, I do like Windows 10, but uh, these these driver incompatibilities are really, get, are really starting to get frustrating. So, let me just... Uh, it's going to prompt me for my login here. 
Hopefully, yeah, it's loading. You can see the hard drive icon uh, click blinking. Sorry. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I also have this brother printer um, hooked up. It works, again, on both sides, Windows and Mac. And... Sorry, let me just enter my password. And... Should be loading here. Where's man? Windows ten. All right, there we go. And we're just about loaded. Let's again for just for the sake of it, let's load the internet up. Oh, see my Windows time is off. It must be because of uh, must be because of what I, I fixed it on the OS 10 side. Uh, okay, so. Here we go, the internet's working, you know, and you know, if this is a PC, you know everything's going to work once it starts, so whatever. Yeah, so there we go, Windows 10 Professional and Hackintosh El Capitan 10.11.5 on this old piece of crap. Pretty impressive, if I say so myself. Alright, leave questions, comments, and concerns below. Thank